She wandered out into the garden, breathing in its fragrances, absorbing its beauty. She followed the path to the end of the garden, knowing somehow, some way, the end of the path was no wall of finality, but a passageway. She waited for some sort of sign. It would be easy to surrender, turn back, and retreat across her beautiful, uneventful garden back into her perfect little uneventful cottage, reaffirming her bland, uneventful existence. In defiance, she stood up to those hedges, firmly erect, staring down those green, dense leaves, their sharp branches tickling her nostrils. The funneling wind breezed behind her, jolting her into the hedges, their branches magically parting, allowing her through. She winced, unsure of what she might encounter. What she saw surprised her. Dark blackness, not pitch black, but splotchy black, random splotches of dark gray transitioning to pure black and then back again. She did know one thing. She was somewhere else, somewhere unencumbered. You've arrived, I see, she blanched. Looking up, she saw her, small and petite. She looked like a chambermaid, or perhaps a servant. Who are you? Robin asked. Many people, I would say. What do you mean? Robin asked. I am the one who's scorned, used for evil purposes, a sufferer for others' sins. I don't understand. They did it to me. They'll do it to you she said without an ounce of emotion.